Right then, so this is my um, FPV uh, ground station. Uh, I just built it. Um, just put it into one of these camera cases. This is my old camera case. And what I've done is I've um, drilled out a hole to the outside so I can fit one of these SMA connectors onto it cloverleaf antenna and I can unscrew that um, when I when it's not in use right this is the uh, inside so far I put a piece of um, perspex on here and that out just now. A piece of perspex I've just masked it off with some um, black uh, wing tape and ho hobby king there's the uh, what it looks like inside. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm not going to go chopping wires just at the moment. I'm just going to see how it goes. Uh, the receiver's down here. And there you can see there's the extension coming off. Rooted around here to where the terminal is on the outside. And there you can see there's a live feed from the camera. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look very good quality it's because this is a fixed focus camera I'm using an action camera so it actually looks better than it does through this camera. It's quite a decent little camera actually. Yeah, at the moment it's like like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna solder anything up, not until I've um, fully tested it properly. But it seems to work quite well. I got out to over a hundred meters with it the other day, just playing around. Yeah, this is just a piece of um, perspex. And just mask it off, not too bad. Just clip it in, it just clips in underneath the um, edge of the aluminium extrusion. And I've got four screw holes in there, which I'm going to use, which I've done. Lock it in place, and then it, at the moment it's just running off this uh, 1300 milliamp free cell. So that seems to be working well. What I am going to do though is, is um, I've got a lot of these uh, lithium ion 18650 batteries out of laptops. Um, I'm going to put uh, a 3P 8 cell pack in the bottom here and then put a piece of wood across so that will give me enough power to run the um, small screen and the receiver and also I'll be able to use my um, charger to charge the uh, lithium polymer batteries from the uh, RC quadcopter should be enough power there should get probably about 13 amp hours in there so it should be enough to charge the batteries up a few times anyway yeah, so any, any of the parts, I'll put um, links in the description, so just in case you're interested, take a look. And yeah, uh, comment, tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.